Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and it's been a long time since I've been able to make content. If you guys did not know already, I announced it on Twitter. I announced it here on my YouTube channel, but I've been away in Costa Rica on a yoga teacher training retreat for the past week. I'll be home after... Um, I'll be home on the 14th and then you know that Jets Media will be creating daily content It feels weird being out of the loop of what's going on with the Jets really trying to dig deep into my practice over here in Costa Rica But obviously from the title of the video There's some news to talk about and I had to make this video because it is devastating news and it is news That it was a biggest fear of mine heading into the season of not going into week number one with a fully healthy roster Makai Becton looks like he could be out for the season. We do not know as I'm recording this video It's not for certain they did not officially announce it but according to all the reports it seems like his knee it, he had a the same injury to the same surgically repaired knee but it's a different injury it looks like it's going to be severe it looks like Mikai Becton's going to be missing significant time if not the entire season so in this video I want to give you guys my thoughts give you a little update of what's going on with me over here in Costa Rica life is great it feels good to take a break and just you know dive deep into the practice over here but at the end of the day I I'll be lying to you guys if it feels weird not being in tune with what's going on with the Jets. Obviously, I'm trying to, you know, see what's going on with training camp every day, but it feels weird not reporting about it. It feels weird not talking about it with you guys every day. It feels weird not tweeting about it. It feels weird not going live about it. So when I saw this news, I'm like, all right, this is a perfect opportunity for me to go uh, make a video on my phone over here in Costa Rica to give you guys a little update of my thoughts of where the Jets stand right now. So as I'm recording this, I just saw a report from... Joe Douglas actually on WFN this morning that the Jets are looking to get Dwayne Brown and the wheels are in motion, I think is what Joe Douglas had to say. And that's a really good sign because the offensive tackle depth is absolutely way too thin right now. We knew the offensive tackle depth was thin even before the injuries of Becton and Fant. Now Becton's down, who's gonna be that right tackle? Are we gonna bring, are we gonna bring in Brown? Is it gonna be the rookie Max Mitchell? Is it gonna be Truma Idoga? Connor McDermott went down in the green and right scrimmage. I know that we signed two offensive linemen, I think today or yesterday to add depth, uh, but man, oh man, it really, really is unfortunate for Makai Becton because we know that he is that type of player where when we drafted him, boom or bust. It's if he's healthy, if he's on the field, he's going to be a monster. But the bust factor was all about the weight concerns. It was all about the injury concerns. And last year, that injury he suffered wasn't really his fault. We all blamed Greg Van Roten because he got blown up. Greg Van Roten got thrown into him. His knee buckled and he was out for the season. This year, he shows up to camp in great shape after all the weight concerns. He's looking good in camp. He's pushing himself. He really looks like a player that is going to be dominant this season because don't forget what Makai Becton did as a rookie. We're all excited of this offensive line with Makai and AVT next to each other. And of course, he has to go down with the season-ending injury potentially even before week number one. I was hoping that we can get to week one without any type of serious injuries like Carl Lawson last year when he went down at that practice with Green Bay. Uh, it's just a devastating blow, man. There's no sugarcoat it but this is the unfortunate reality of sports luckily for the jets we do have depth all over this team where if we do suffer any more injuries which i really hope that does not happen we are set up for the better because of the depth around this team but the one thing i will say the depth of the offensive tackle is not that good and we all knew that we all knew in camp that the offensive tackle depth is not looking good and the jets were looking to get dwayne brown even before beckton got hurt we saw we saw brown at the green and white scrimmage on the sidelines they know that he but they have interest in him. They wanted to fill in that Morgan Moses role with a seasoned vet that can come in and be that swing tackle. So now with Becton going down for potentially the entire season, it makes way too much sense. Joe Douglas got to get the deal done because if that right tackle spot's a little up in the air right now and the offensive line is not going to reach his full potential if we not get those two tackle spots fully loaded, man. So training camp, you know, I, I really am excited to when I get home to get uh, deeper into Jets media and make daily content, go live. Preseason is going to be kicking off very soon. You know, get back in tune with what Zach Wilson and the boys are looking like. Uh, again, my apologies that Jets media has not been active. I told you guys I'm away. I'm, I was not going to be able to make any content for the next two weeks because I am currently on a yoga teacher training retreat over here in Costa Rica in the mountains. So I appreciate you guys uh, allowing me to take this uh, time away from my YouTube channel and focus on some of my personal life stuff. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for content. I'll be home next week, I think August 14th. And you know that Jets Media will be making live content and making daily content when the Jets um, preseason is underway and when the season is up and swinging. You know I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not going anywhere when the season begins. Don't you guys worry. I'm not going anywhere. So comment down below your thoughts of this news. Obviously, it's not good news. It's devastating news. But uh, oh, man, it's tough. It's tough. Let's take a deep breath and just know that this Jets team is still going to make some noise this year. I promise you that. Like the video if you guys enjoy. I love you guys. I miss you all. I really do miss you all. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.